Oh, here he is, here. Oh, cool. Uh, hopefully it's all open. I'm not vandalized. This is a real treat, this thing. I never found a caboose in a forest before. Hey, welcome back, explorers. Today we're at a pretty interesting location here. Uh, we're at a banded caboose in the woods, completely in the middle of the woods. Um, this property is quite a few acres, and there used to be a abandoned house in the property, but it was demolished. I think it actually got caught fire at one point. Um, but in the back, way in the back in the woods, there's an abandoned caboose. And I was in the area, and I love trains. I love cabooses. I really like anything to do with trains, so I had to stop by and take a look at this thing. I'm so glad it's still here. It looks in pristine condition. But we're gonna check this thing out today. I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait to check it out myself. I haven't been in a caboose before. I've always seen the outsides of them. So I can't wait to take a look inside. Hopefully it's all original and it's not too uh, rotten in there, but it uh, looks pretty good. So let's go. Unbelievable. Yeah, so this caboose has been sitting here, I think, since the 80s. I think the owner of the property bought this caboose and put the tracks in and used it for personal use. I'm not too sure if he slept in here or he had coffee. Who knows, what, what, maybe, maybe he sat in here and read a book. I'm not too sure, but it's pretty cool. I'd always, uh, always wanted a caboose in my backyard. But look at this thing. They got a wedge. That's how this train is sitting here. You don't want to pull the wedge out, maybe it'll roll down the hill. I doubt it. This thing's not moving. This thing's probably rusted. Oh, there's a few of them there. Yeah, it's probably still rusted. It's not going anywhere. This caboose seems like it's in pretty good shape still. Like, I don't know how they would remove this. Like, this is, the forest is so grown in now. This thing is just like stuck in here. Unless they clear cut some trees to remove this thing. But I don't know if they're just gonna leave this thing here. But it should be at a museum, really. At a train museum. I think it got a bit of decay here. But uh, this thing is pretty neat. So glad I uh, came by here. Oh, I'm sick. Let's take a look here. Oh wow, it's open. Oh wow. Ooh, it smells like... It smells like something in here. Oh yeah, this is like a little, they had a little fireplace there at one point. So cool. This is via rail. 
conductor. This is for the brake. I think you pull this. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, please let me know. There's bricks in there. That's better. Emergency bedding only. there. Oh wow, more nests. I wonder if this is original paint. Could be. Looks like it is. I love trains. I don't know too much about them. Like how they operate, what everything's used for, all the... Oh, there's a bathroom in here. But yeah, I just, I've always within, was interested in trains. Please do not put, please do not put paper, etc. in the toilet. It has to be emptied by hand for emergency use only try to make it to the house or the bushes yeah there used to be a house here but I think it was uh, demolished and this just sits in the forest deep in the forest it's locked I gotta there's a latch on the, on the outside. Well, let's get up here and see what we can do here. This is the first time I've ever been in a caboose. I've been looking at cabooses on the outside. I've never been inside one. So I'm actually pretty excited. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's abandoned. Even better. I don't know what that was for. Cup holder? <laughs> Doubt it. That's some kind of holder. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think this is a break because look this this cable. Or it's an alarm. I'm not too sure. People that know a lot about trains would definitely know that answer. Caboose was used for an office for the conductor. 
and monitoring the train while underway. Someone would look out the window and watch for signs of trouble. The caboose also carried a brake man and a flag man. The engineer would signal the caboose with a whistle when he wanted to slow down. They stopped using cabooses in the late 1980s. I know on boats you could look up the numbers, like the boat's name, and it tells you all the information about the boat. I wonder if this is the same for trains and cabooses. I'll see if I could look up the information about this thing. But I guess that's how much it weighs, 41,000 pounds. Probably dry weight with nothing in it. I'm not too sure if this is original, the plywood. I think the older ones used to have like barn wood, like kind of like planks. So I'm not too sure if this was after, but it might be original. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a pretty unique find, pretty unique explore. Um, I had to do a long walk through the forest here to take a look at this place. But it's a beautiful property. It sits up on top, top of a hill. And uh, I don't know how they got this thing in here, but I'm pretty sure it's been here since the 80s. And I'm gonna try to do some research on the caboose itself, see where it came from. But yeah, this is the uh, first time I did a video on an abandoned caboose or a train. So I'd like to do some more in the future. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think of this place. Like, would you stay here? Would you have a caboose in your backyard? I know I would. I would definitely have one. I would probably have a little bar in there, serve some drinks to some friends, hang out here, have some music going. I'll probably put a deck off the side here. 
put some chairs out there. It would be a pretty cool place for me. Very peaceful here. It's pretty quiet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next explore.